ending of space-time. But, it seems they are not all powerful as once thought. It turns out, black holes can actually vanish over time. So, how can a black hole disappear? Well, in 1974, Stephen Hawking was the first to apply quantum mechanics to the space just outside of the black hole. He considered how particle-antiparticle pairs, which spontaneously pop into and out of existence in the vacuum due to quantum fluctuations, would behave near the event horizon. Normally, these pairs annihilate each other after forming. However, near a black hole's event horizon, one of the particles could fall into the black hole, while the other escapes. The particle that falls into the black hole has negative energy, relative to an observer far away from the black hole, and this results in the black hole losing a small amount of mass. This radiation implies that the black hole will lose mass over time and eventually evaporate if it doesn't accrete more matter than it emits through Hawking radiation. This theoretical insight was groundbreaking